Hello everyone, Forgotten here, and today I'll be giving you a much awaited guide. Oh, I don't really know if it's much awaited, but at least in my opinion, it's a guide that should be very useful, and generally a lot of people should need this guide, so let's get right into it. So today, peeps, we're gonna talk, be talking about counter style, aka this is gonna be a counter style guide, because I believe counter is a style that should definitely be utilized more, not enough people use it, so let's get right into it. Boom. So your main success to clutching up fights and winning fights is generally gonna be your M2, because if your M2 lands, and it's a counter it's gonna do so much damage it's gonna be mind-boggling let me try to land one oh you slick motherfucker there we go boom yum 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 hers damage as you can clearly see very good damage so anyways as you guys have seen from that little exchange of hits counters and m2s are very very good things so you should rely on those so first tip will be use your m1s i know i know all you gotta do with counters is just randomly tap your m1 like that and as you can clearly see my man cannot keep up with that you only generally need the, the first M1 like that because it does so much damage, honestly. And if you get. Look, I'm literally shredding his health with only tapping M1s. You just can't be too predictable. Before, it was easy to perfect dodge these because everybody knew how to react. But all you gotta do is kinda switch him up. Use the M1s a little bit like that. Boom. You know, just M1 simple like that. Counter and bam. See, literally over with. In a span of like three seconds. It's that simple, guys. That's the first tip. Use your M1s and use them smart. Use them correctly like that. Now, generally, you won't want to walk into your opponent just spamming the M1 like here because that's going to get you countered and perfect dodge. But, however, you got to time it right. But you can go backwards and counter like that. Like, kind of go around them. Boom. M2. You can just kind of back. Oh. Alright, so the next tip you got to rely on with counter is very, very simple. You got to be unpredictable. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have fought? You gotta be unpredictable with counter style. Who would have fought, guys? I, I never would have guessed. If he knows where I'm gonna attack, it's no fun. But if he doesn't know when I'm gonna attack, aka okay, if I'm just uh, timing him right. Holy shit, that one was good. See, he's using my tips against me. He's using my tips against me. He's using my tips against me. Alright, so so far we've only been using the M1. And it's been working pretty well, not gonna lie. Yeah, so the base damage for the M1 ain't that great. However, it's it's pretty decent, not gonna lie. See, boom. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. And BAM! As you can see, with a little bit of M1s and a little bit of timing, with those two tips alone, you can already win matches. Like you see here, that's pretty much the base foundation for counter style. You gotta hop in, go forward, go backward, throw your M1s at a random timing and get a lot of counters in. If you can just do that, you already know how to use counter pretty well. Now, tip number three is use your M2s responsibly. Let, yes, I know all the tips are pretty much the same for every style, but I truly mean it when I say use your M2s responsibly. Let me show you what that looks like. Like there. Boom. If you're just spamming them, they're not really gonna land. You can fight back, bro. You can fight back. It's okay. It's okay. So they're generally hard to time at a close distance, but however, if you're doing them at a range like this, it's very, uh, it becomes much easier to, to time them if you're doing it at a distance. Oh, you can also use them once you perfect dodge, which is generally recommended. You just kind of got to get the timing down. When you see them approaching you in a, in a specific way that you know they always do when they're going to hit, then you can kind of throw it like that, boom. But don't spam it and don't run into them because that's like suicide pretty much. So remember guys, well-timed M2s are all it takes pretty much to win. M2s and M1s. Let me show you a little trick guys. Boop. Bop. 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 <laughs> Alright, let's get into the tips number number 4 and 5. Raw. Did you think you were done? Nuh-uh. As you can clearly see guys, a very, very professional trio right there. And now let's get into tip number 4, which is combine your M1s and M2s. And learn when to use each one. So generally, remember what I said. You gotta be unpredictable, right? So sometimes you're gonna start out with an M1. Sometimes you're gonna start out with an M2. It all depends on what you're trying to achieve. Boom, see, we're starting off with the M1s. Then we're gonna throw an M2 and it's gonna land because this guy sucks at dodging. Haha, <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you, Takamura. <laughs> I see him walking into me kind of like that. Uh, and you you clearly with this. Uh, this is smart. What he's doing is smart. That was smart. That was smart. Not gonna lie. Generally, don't always use the same punches. Kind of go like different punches like that. Or kind of like this and then like that that works basically you just gotta learn kind of how to combo with counter and generally as a counter main tip number five you're gonna want to be an outboxer he timed his hit better right there he timed that better a lot better generally you're gonna want to be an outboxer with this which means you're not really gonna be the russian fight type you're gonna be more on the back foot trying to time your counters right it's kind of hard to do at first but you'll get the hang of it eventually you can see he's doing pretty well he just listened to me talking about tips for a bit and now he's already like a lot better boom timed right there boom 
pretty much all about the timing with counter style, not gonna lie. It's all about the, how well you time your hits, like there, boom, boom. Very simple and easy once you get it down. So yeah, tip number five, what was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tip number five is that. And tip number six with counter is generally practice. Obviously, that that's obvious enough, but counter is a pretty difficult style to me. And I'm not gonna lie to you, unless you use the OG counter, it, it becomes really hard to get used to the counter style. However, you just gotta practice, bro. Like every other style, you just can't be good right away, right? All you gotta do is get some practice in. Well, that's a good that's a good thing right there as well. Alright, let me give you guys one more rule with counter. You can count it as a bonus tip on, on the style. It's generally, uh, when they're doing an M2, you want an M1. And when they're doing an M1, you want an M2 if you can time it. So generally, you wanna do the exact opposite of the hit they're doing. Alright, guys, let me show you now what all of those tips would look like uh, in mine when I focus. Boom! Uh, that should kill, I think. That that should be a kill. I'm not sure, but I think it, it should be a kill. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out soon enough, guys. Yeah, that's the thing with counter. You can't really... Uh, if you rush too much, you'll kind of get lost, especially against a different counter type. You gotta be patient and just smart on your timing. Alright yeah, guys, uh, that's how you use counter. Thank you for watching and uh, if you enjoyed, like and mwah, goodbye.